Hello everyone, it's me again, Madam Azida. We continue the topic 4.5 metallic bond. Overview for 4.5 is formation of metallic bond and the most important is electron C model. The properties of metal, there is malleability. Ductility, electrical conductivities, thermal conductivity. Factor affecting metallic bond is the number of valence electron and the size of atoms. Strength of metallic bond we represent the boiling point. Learning outcome is at the end of this lesson, you should be able to explain the formation of metallic bond by using electron C model. And the next one, how to explain the factors that affect the strength of metallic bond. Formation of metallic bond. What is actually metal? Metal are shiny solid at room temperature except mercury with characteristic high melting point and density. Metallic bond is known as a electrostatic forces between the positively charged metallic ion and the sea of electrons. In a metallic bond, metal atom can be imagined as an array of positive ion that is immersed in a sea of delocalized valence electron. These delocalized electrons are not bound to individual atoms and they can therefore serve to be bind large number of metal atoms together. Electron C model. For example, electron C model for sodium. Sodium is a metal at group 1 that is released one balanced electron to produce sodium ion or Na+. The electrostatic forces between the nucleus sodium ion and delocalized valence electron will form metallic bond. This is, we call it as a an array. And each of sodium atom will have D localized electron and the number is only one electron. For magnesium, magnesium is a metal also but in group 2. Magnesium atom will release two valence electron to form magnesium 2 plus ion. So electrostatic forces between magnesium ion and delocalized valence electron will form metallic bond. So each magnesium will release two electron delocalized. And the magnesium ion in the electron C model also will arrange in an array. And when we have, for example, in this picture, electron C model, we have nine magnesium ion and each magnesium ion will produce two delocalized electron to build up the electron c model must consist 18 delocalized electron so one 
two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, sorry, sixteen. 17 and 18. So always remember the number of magnesium ion as is will represent the double number of delocalized electron. Factor affecting the strength of metallic bond. There are two factors affecting the strength of metallic bond. First is number of valence electron. The more number of valence electron, the stronger the metallic bond. For example, let's say if we have element at period 3, sodium, magnesium and aluminium. Sodium has one valence electron. Magnesium has two valence electron. And aluminium has three valence electron. Among of them, aluminium has the highest number of valence electron, so that aluminium will form the stronger metallic bond. The next factor is size of atom. The smaller the size of atom, the stronger the metallic bond. Thus, we can conclude that the strength of metallic bond inversely proportional to size of atom. By using electron C model, compare melting point of aluminium and sodium. Explain your answer. The similarity between sodium atom and sodium ion and aluminium ion is consists of 9 sodium ion and here also 9 aluminium ion. And the ion are arranged as a an array. But the differences between sodium ion and aluminium ion is the number of delocalized electron for sodium ion only contain 9 delocalized electron 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 and 9 but for aluminium ion, there is three valence electron. So in the electron C model for aluminium ion is contain 27 delocalized electron. Therefore, make it the metallic bond for aluminium ion is stronger than metallic bond for sodium ion. Thus, we represent higher melting point. So, there is the explanation. The strength of metallic bond is directly proportional to the number of valence electrons. The greater the number of valence electron, the stronger the metallic bond. Therefore, melting point for aluminium is higher than sodium. So now, there is objective question. Electron is a negatively charged particle present in atom. 
Metallic bonding is known as an end attraction between positive ion and electron. How many electrons are delocalized in a metal? The answer is as many as are in the outer shell. So, that's all for today. And this is the last part for chemical bonding.